Hello and welcome back to Fooling. Right, as you can see, the field here is empty. We do have to drill it with grass. That is something I forgot to do uh, when we were drilling the oat in the last episode. So, the first thing we'll do in this episode is get that done. We'll get the grass drilled in, we'll get it rolled as well, so we don't forget that nice rolling bonus. Uh, and then we'll carry on with cutting the other meadows. Right, so... Big bags, get some seed in, thousand for now, it, it, yeah, grass especially, uh, goes quite far. Right, we'll load it in, and we'll see you in the meadow. Alright, open up the gate, and we'll begin drilling. So, this should not take very long at all. Um, it is a small field, with a fairly large size drill, and the roller even bigger yet. My only concern, the only nemesis I tend to have in these situations is the, well, the fence, really. But we should be fine uh, until we get to the roller. That will prove to be a bit more difficult. Right, this is actually going quite nicely. I believe we did plow it with a 9 meter. I think I did upgrade to the 9, so, and that went quite quickly as well. Alright, well, we're going to try this again. Um, I don't know if you noticed during that first little bit of the time-lapse, but we were drilling out. Idiot. Right, so we've rectified that. We uh, haven't lost too much seed, about 170 litres, which is a fair amount, but not too much. And we are just going to go back over with grass seed. Uh, I won't add this to the time-lapse or anything like that. If anything, I will do this very quickly including the uh, rolling, get it done very quickly, and we'll move on from this to the next task. Alright, well, as you can see, the rolling is just about done. Should have just a few more seconds. There we have it. So we will get that all sorted, folded back up, and we'll tuck it away as if we hadn't even used it. But now, at the very least, we have our third meadow up and running. Uh, this one, since it will be offset from this one, I reckon it could be, as I said previous, just a, a hay meadow. That's possibly what it will be for in the future. Right, speaking of grass and hay and all that fun stuff, that is quite literally the next task for us is to chop up some uh, some grass and turn it in to silage. I'm very excited because this is the first time we'll be able to use our new uh, mower properly. We did a very quick sort of test with it. Before I do, I should check on the uh, food levels of the cows. Right, that is getting a bit lower than usual. Those are fine. The chickens, we don't have much we can do until we harvest their wheat. And the horses as well should have some hay. So, we shall do that first. Just need to find the Massey. We'll get it done off camera as well, because we can do it very quickly. Uh, and then we will move on to our grass work. Right, so in here we have our harvester, but we also have our brand new Krona Big M450. In case you didn't see the, not the last episode, but the episode prior to that, we actually, um, well, we bought this and we barely got to use it yet. So the plan is to head over to. There we are, look at that, how easily as well. We'll go to. Let's do this little meadow first. We usually do the big one first, I find, but we'll do this one first. Right, so we'll just get nice and lined up here. We'll go this way. Just gonna get it all nice and backed up. And 
ready to go. Before we do, I will just confirm everything that we are ready. As you can see, the grass looks absolutely brilliant. Uh, but very quickly, just hop into our menu here. Can have a look at the grass texture. We can see that all of it is, uh, in fact, ready to harvest. The nice thing is, and um, well, I guess it's all right, but this one, this meadow here is not quite ready. It's still in its growing stages, um, so it'll be offset from the other meadows, which is fine, because uh, as I said previous, that might become our hay meadow. Who knows? Right, <clears throat> we have swath dropping enabled. We'll drop the whole deck, front and rear. Look at that, raises it up, and we're off. I've, I think I've just put on not point one hours so this is our maiden mow, really. I mean, as I said, we did do that small meadow before, but this is the real deal. Now we can really see. Blimey, it's, it seems so much faster when it's self-propelled. Um, but again, we shall see how I fare with the uh, the fences, as fences tend to be. My number one nemesis. Right, we are making very good progress. Yes, I'm missing bits here and there, but just get used to the incredible light speed of the <laughs> of the Krona Big M. Right, so this is the same width as our other mower as well, our uh, attached one. The nice thing is when we turn sharply like that, we won't miss bits. That was my biggest frustration with the, uh, the, the Pottinger setup we had. It was brilliant, but it's just that we... Right, there we go. Uh, it's just that we'd turn like this, for example, and we would uh, we wouldn't be able to, to get all the grass in that in that space. There would be left a bit of a gap between the front and the rear decks. Not this time round. Right, I'm getting much too excited about this, and I keep smashing into the fence in the darkness here of the shadow of the trees. But no excuses. We should we have to get it done. Oh blimey! Right, I think it's time to fire up a uh, a cheeky time lapse, and uh, yeah, we'll do this meadow. We'll also clear up, once we're out of the fence area, it's fine. I just want to maximize our yield, right? I'm just getting used to it as well. Because usually the mowing deck uh, is on the back and the wheels that turn are on the front. So it's a bit it's a bit different. It's a bit different, but I am, I, am, uh, I can turn very quickly though. But I am enjoying it. And uh, why not? We have the cash for it, so why not? Right, we've done a headland of Meadow 1. We'll carry on and crack on along with this and then Meadow 2, and uh, yeah, we'll have it done in no time. Just like that, we are complete. We're done. We've done the grass work. We've done the cutting already. And rowing, all in one. I know we did that before, uh, sort of with the uh, with the other mower as well, but not like this. Not to this degree. Uh, the turning, everything, the maneuvering is much more simple. Uh, it, it does take a bit of getting used to, I will admit that. Um, but just like that, we are done. Um, and it's nice because it's all in one. It's one compact machine. Well, it's not that compact. It's quite a large machine. But it has me tempted to buy more grass. But I won't just, <laughs> just at the moment. Um, I will, for the time being, I will just tuck it back away uh, in here. Probably won't need to give it a cleaning just yet. Uh, we will keep the windrow that we have just so that we can do the, uh, the straw work as well. The Deutz there, for example, though, might be, might uh, have a new home soon, new owner. We shall see, we shall see. Right, okay, this is not what I want to take with me. I will leave that there. We'll give those a wash very soon. Uh, just for the time being, though, we should probably 
get over to, um, well, the loading wagon. Get that process started. Alright, we have the loading underway. So, as usual, what we'll do with this uh, grass is put it into the fermentation silo and we'll get the fermenting underway. I believe, now it is tough to call because we have so much, uh, so, so, well, a lot of grass. We've always had so much grass and, and also so much hay as well. Hundreds of, of thousands of litres constantly. Um, but we also have now the room for a potential of 200, what is our shed? 230 for cows. And I believe, I think, oh look at that, I've got a dead zone in my wheel, that's an, a shame, that is. I believe that's an update, when FS updates, because I have to update and, and downdate, I've said that term before but it's not real term, I know, uh, my version of FS to record my f fooling playthrough because it's it doesn't work on 1.8 on the newest update that came out with Platinum Expansion. I've mentioned this a few times in previous episodes and it's not a big problem. I mean the episode has been in its final stages for a long time uh, but I have decided that this episode will be... Uh, sorry not this episode, this series will reach uh, episode 100 uh, at the very least. I I'm this close to 100 episodes now. Uh, with what we have left, I believe even if we do sell the sugar f and, and have it all done and all the sugar's gone and we don't have any more sugar, I'd still like to reach episode 100 just to have um, that as the finale episode. I think that would be brilliant. So that's the plan. As it stands right now, we are on episode 90, if I'm not mistaken. Blimey. So about 10 episodes left of the series, uh, which puts us at about two weeks, I mean it's about five, but just over a month then, um, and then that is the time when I will start uh, recording the new series. Now, even though I say that with such gusto and confidence, I'm actually not 100% certain of what my plan is. I might try and do a sort of a, not a mini series, but a different, a, a different kind of series. It, it would be smaller equipment but it would be a bit more on the uh, like I suppose it would be very slow paced and it would be uh, it would be more so I suppose hardcore you could say uh, just with as far as like realisticness <laughs> you know mods and, and such definitely uh, no uh, super strength things like that uh, no um, just yeah hard economy it's gonna be interesting to see a bit of flavor from my survival challenge series that was unfortunately taken from me due to a technical error probably something I could have either prevented or solved but it was uh, just unfortunate situation all around um, anyways something of that variety I would like to go for minus the um, survival challenge aspect it might be a bit more of a hardcore challenge of sorts but we shall see I don't want to get too excited either that or a different let's play you know uh, a start from not start from scratch sorry but a start with new farmer where you get the equipment they provide the modder provides or well yeah mod it would probably be a modded map um, but yeah that will be the other option so if you have any say or input on that I'd love to hear it I'd love to hear your hear your feedback um, as it seems I've been rambling plenty <laughs> so <laughs> I will do this last little corner here and miss a bit just so I can reverse and start it fresh. Oh, there's a bit there as well. All right, well, we'll start the time lapse now then and uh, get it done in a matter of minutes.
Alright, well there we have the end of the collecting. Um, I feel like this process was a bit, it seemed to be a bit quicker than the last time that we did uh, collecting. I think it's because there's no windrowing involved, but even when we did it with the other mower it just felt longer, I don't know. Anyways, we have this 3688 litres to dump off, so we'll do that right now and as it is doing that we can look at our total number of it so grass we've got from that run was 191 is that done 191,092 liters and we're going to uh, put that as activated so that grass will turn into silage and that number will go up by almost 200,000 liters uh, which is mental. So we have so much hay and grass, we need to sell more silage next year. Bread is stopped. Why? No space. Right. Well, let's do that. What we need to do... Uh, I'm just going to put this away. Right, we can shut that off. I'm going to tuck this away because April is done. We really have nothing else to do. Uh, all we can do now is just wait for the grass to grow. Literally wait for the grass to grow. And, of course, our crops to grow. Um, as we do have some waiting left to do there. Right, we'll just leave the whole organization there. Out of space, let's visit. All right, because there's one. That's not very much bread, is it? Oh, two. Brilliant. Right, let's... Uh... Right, the cake adds up very quickly, so we'll just put cake there for a moment. And we'll, we'll stack our bread here, because they might go separate. They might be loaded up separately. So we'll just we'll, we'll tuck the bread here as much as we can. Oh, there's loads of bread. We should also check. Yeah, I reckon the, the rest of this episode might end up being uh, sort of product management, you know, production management, if you will, making sure everything's fine. Oh, look at that. What have we? All oh, right, out of space as well. So we will um, nicely shift these over. All right, we should probably before we get carried away, just move, just shift a couple down. Right, we'll stack them nicer, I just want to have some room for them, uh, just so we can, yeah, continue that. But we will <laughs> we'll head back to the bakery now, and finish uh, tidying all the, up, uh, all the bread up, because it seems we have quite a bit. And we'll have to check the best time to sell it as well, because then we can, well, get it sold. Uh, I think it's December though, I think we're pa past the time, to be honest. We are in... where's bread? Hello, bread. Right, price is going down. We did just sell in December. Right, so we will keep stacking and stacking until uh, till we're done. Until we're out of bread. Well, out of flour, I suppose. Remember the cake stack we had? That was quite a sale. That was £100,000 uh, plus, actually, I believe. And it wasn't even the best price. And it wasn't even a full load of cake. It was brilliant. Right, so that... Uh, right, we have some more cake to spawn, so we'll let that happen. Um, right, there it is. The nice thing about uh, stuff like this and this sort of product management is that when we do come time to sell it, 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 there's no faffing about. It's just we grab our product and we go. And, and I really like that about this series. We're at the point now where we don't have to worry about all of that. And it's just a bit of nice management. Everything looks really good. We have our fresh bread that's going to become sun-roasted as the summer continues. <laughs> uh, yeah, I thought that's not... All right, now I think we might have all of the cake uh, sorted. Start a nice new pile right there. It's because they're 400 litres per pallet. That's why there's so many. Right, these are a 1,000. Right, yes, okay. Perfect. Well, there we have it all sorted here. Let's have a look at our other production. So we'll start at the top. Grass is fermenting to silage. Brilliant. We actually, we could also turn some hay and straw into silage as well for the future. We could do, towards the end, we could do that. We, this, this process is very quick. So we could actually, as you can see, the grass is going quite quickly. So I'll just go out. Look at that. It's already m massively gone. So we could do that towards the end. We could probably put hay, grass, and straw all to ferment, to silage, and do a massive selling session like that. That would be quite good. Right, here we have strawberries uh, we can visit. It's, yeah, I don't know what, you know, it's 
that's what it is. There's strawberries. Um, right, so we will check bread. We did that. Let's pop down here just to do a bit of tidying. Ah, oh, right, the cheese. I forgot we had cheese coming. Brilliant. So we'll put butter here. We'll put chocolate on this side. I'll put cheese in the middle. Nice little organisation here. Uh, yeah, we'll put it in this little area and cover the doors. Not too fast. Butter is the only thing. Actually, wait, no, put this on this side because butter is the only thing that actually has to go to another production. Well, chocolate as well, I suppose. But anyways, that is fine. We'll we'll keep a bit of organisation like that. Is there any more to spawn? There is not. Perfect. So that's all done. Uh, let's have a look at. Right. So actually, my plan was to use a bit of oat or wheat for, uh, probably oat though to be honest, for flour. Right, so we have a few options of how to make flour. We've got oat flour, so that's probably what we'll do. Uh, it's not the best. Sorghum is, I believe, the best ratio for oat, uh, for flour rather. Um, oat not so much. These also not so much. But I reckon that should be fine. Um, yeah, we'll do that. Alright, we won't worry about that chocolate. It's still still full up. Oh wow, all the strawberry ones. Right, we'll shift those that way. Uh, just so that the chocolate ones can spawn. We should probably stack these a little nicer. Um, so what I'll do very quickly is I will stack these nicely and then we'll be right back. Alright, well that is a very impressive stack of donuts, strawberry and chocolate alike. Uh, and they are being produced at literally the same pace, well, essentially. Um, right, let's hop into here and see. We have possibility to bring some things down. Now, here's what I was worried about. The sugar is at 3,000, everything's at 2. Now, I don't want to bring chocolate down anymore. Once they're out, un unless uh, it's just enough. I want to bring just enough. Because um, we have so many strawberries and they count the same. Right, and we have so many more strawberries than chocolate, and chocolate sells uh, much better on its own. So once chocolate production is done, I'm, I'm actually going to just, it's going to be done. It's done. Once the chocolate donuts are done, I'm done. <laughs> then we'll just focus on these strawberry ones. We could do the glazed, but why? We have we have strawberries, a plethora of them. So we will definitely do that. I guarantee you as well that the price is a lot more. Indeed, um, yeah, about a thousand, about a thousand more ish per pallet, which is worth it. So flour. Let's look at everything. Like I said, this is a product management second half of the episode. So, coffee in hand. Let's view our production chains. Mm -hmm. Right, we have flour needs be. Look at that. Oh no, we're almost out of flour. I what? <laughs> Right, okay, that's fine. Uh, as I said, we do need only, we only need 3,000 litres of flour once that's done, which is three pallets, which I'm sure will source easily enough. Um, everything else needs to be at approximately 3,000 for the sugar, right? Um, milk, yeah, so we can add a few things. So we'll bring, I mean, a pallet of butter and... Ah, see, that's a bit frustrating. I pallet in a bit, but what? The other thing is, any anything that's in the production, what should I do with it? If it goes out over, should I just leave it as a loss, or should I sell the equivalent of like how much it is at that current time when I am finished with the production? Should I sell the things within? I don't know. What do you think? Right, we'll bring some milk down. Two thousand liters of milk. And yeah, we need flour, milk, and butter. So we'll line up the milk tanker for 2,000 liters, and we'll source the butter as well. It's like we don't need a full pallet. We don't need two full pallets. We need just just over like two and a half. We'll bring two anyways. Whatever. We're gonna produce it so fast anyways. And and for how uh, expensive, oops, for how much we can sell donuts, I'm not worried about half a pallet of butter. Right, well, let's go, let's connect to, I, find, 
I do find myself using the milk tanker as transport for when I only have a few pallets and it's very handy to have that. So let's find 2,000 litres of milk somewhere, whichever pen has the most in. It could be our new one actually, that might be a nice experience for us to go and uh, get milk out of there if I can figure out <laughs> how to line up this lorry I've driven a billion times. Right there we are. Let's have a look at the cows. Right, much milk, not much milk, loads of milk, but still only somehow halfway. Um, right, let's go with this one. Nope, this one, yeah. Uh, because it does have the most milk for the amount in there. And we only need 2,000 litres at this time. The other thing with the milk as well is that we can either bring it Oh, right. What was that for? What is that for? Ah, Tony, what was that for? Hmm, let's see. Can't remember. I'll have to reference back. I believe that was for the bakery. <laughs> I know I left it there for a reason. I can't remember why. <laughs> oh, no. Right, eggs and butter and sugar. Yes, it was indeed for the <laughs> for the bakery. As you can see, those three products, so sugar, eggs, and butter. So we will collect three pallets of butter, and we'll bring two to the donut and one to the bakery. That's a bit more. Oh, wow, 3,000 exactly. That's pretty good. Um, that's fine for now. We can add more in later. Uh, we'll just unload the... Do we need this tank? Oh, yes, we do. We don't have to unload it, we'll just add these pallets on. Not the eggs, those are just leftover eggs. I don't know what I'm doing here, going in circles. Driving circles round. So, we need to put that on the top. And we need the sugar. Put that like that, nicely strapped on. Alright, strap, strap. And we will go to now go to the uh, the dairy collect the butter and then we'll go from there to the bakery so we'll see you at the dairy all right so I didn't want to pull all the way in just in case it accidentally uh, gave the sugar here wouldn't want to do that so we do need well wow, three pallets of butter which is perfectly what we just put here so we need one for this slot no, wait, we need two. I can't remember. Is it one there, two there? Butter. One. Perfect. So one goes with the eggs and the sugar, and then these two will go to the donut production. Whoa, what happened there? <laughs> it's like I... <laughs> it's like I got cut up on an uneven bit of pavement. Like, whoop, and then spilled it. That was very funny. Right. Always a good giggle with farming simulate physics. Right, <laughs> okay, let's get that strapped, that strapped. We are good to go. We'll see you at the bakery now. All right, so we'll just pull up alongside and we shall unstrap the front items, right, which is, uh, to say, our eggs. So now, from now on, no more eggs here. This is the last of eggs, the last of the sugar that we bring here and the last of the butter. Uh, we may bring more flour as if we have more to produce for more bread. And gone. So if we look at everything, everything's lined up very nicely for the finale of cake. Right, two, 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 two of everything will equal perfectly. As you can see, flour, we will have an extra 2,300 liters approximately, which will beautifully transition to bread. Uh, and then we'll have whatever that is, half of that, what I say 2,300, so about, I don't know, 1,000, 1,150 1, litres of bread, which is fine. Uh, we might lose, actually, oh, it might be only one pallet. Well, we might bring more flour here in the future just to finish up. Again, we'll sort that out uh, as that time comes. Uh, for now, we will take the remaining butter we have there to our donut production. Right, we'll see you back at the farm. All right, so I know we don't need a full, a full amount of butter, but we could see. Oh right, it won't reach. 
Right, it's too high up. Okay, let's just pull forward then. And we'll unstrap. So we'll get one in. Just to see what's what. Hello. Hello. There we go. Right, so we'll let that devour away. And gone. Donuts. Right, so I have butter to... Oh, right, it's like 400 litres. Um, you know what? We might just add in the 400 litres. Yeah, it is literally 400 litres. So, we'll hold this. And we'll wait till the butter says 600 litres. That's very quick. <laughs> Brilliant! So just shy of that amount. Now, with that butter, we can do whatever we want with. But if we look, it is lined up beautifully. Absolute beautiful. I, li I just wanted to have it nicely lined up. Much easier to see that way. Flour we do need. And strawberries as well, eventually. Once the ch chocolate is fully run out, we'll bring some more strawberries round. And I suppose I'll just leave this butter on there for now. I suppose I could just sell it. It's not a big problem. Um, I didn't check if the uh, sorry if the bakery needed milk. It does not. Good. Brilliant. Because uh, I didn't put any in. I believe... That is the end of our product management, well, production management. Brilliant. Well, we'll go park the lorry up. Um, we've got eggs coming in. That's brilliant. Uh, yeah, we're, we're really doing quite well with everything, actually. Here, I'll put this like this. Milk. Tran oh, right, to transfer it to the other, to the other tanker. Right, well, what I think I'll do, because we are, we are at the end of the episode now. Uh, what I'm going to do, though, is... Because May is probably uh, not going to be a very busy month, um, I might just rest now. Actually, no, we'll wait. I'll wait until uh, the next episode, and then we can move on to May, which again will probably be, for a, for a matter of moments, checking on the animals and such, and then come uh, June, if I'm not skipping any months, uh, is when, all oh right, we might be, we might not be that busy May and June, actually. We might be straight into July, but we'll have to see. We'll have to see, because uh, June may require the grass to get another cutting, uh, which means we might be able to slurry a bit more, because now the fertilizing is down to one stage again. So we might do that. Right, well, that does end this episode. So, as always, thank you so much for watching. And until the next one, please do take care, and bye for now.